Hello everyone. So in this video we will be talking about galactose. Uh, we will be talking about what is uh, galactose, what are the different sources of galactose, what is the importance of galactose and how actually galactose is metabolized from in the body and how lactose is synthesized from galactose. So what actually is galactose in Greek gala means milk. It is an important constituent of milk sugar that is lactose. Now lactose is a disaccharide which is made of glucose and galactose. So whatever lactose that is present in the milk uh, or milk product it is hydrolyzed or it is degraded in the presence of the enzyme lactase to form glucose and galactose in the body and it is an aldohexose that is it is a 6 carbon compound that is why it is called as hexose and it has aldehyde as its functional group and that is why it is called as aldose uh, hexose and uh, it is the fourth epimer of glucose that is it is a type of epimers are the type of isomers that is they have a same molecular formula same molecular formula but they differ in the structural arrangement and these particular glucose and galactose they differ in the position of hydroxyl group with respect to fourth carbon so that is why uh, they are called this is called as fourth epimer of glucose and this particular galactose is metabolized by liver so in the liver the galactose metabolism occurs what is the importance of galactose it is required for the synthesis of lactose in lactating mammary glands uh, and also it is required for the synthesis of GAGs that is glycosaminoglycans glycosaminoglycans and it is also required for the synthesis of cerebrocytes it is required for the synthesis of glycolipids and it is required for synthesis of glycoproteins so all these are synthesized by the supply of galactose so galactose is really very required uh, in the body and galactose is readily converted in the liver to glucose so how is lactose synthesized from galactose in the previous slide we have seen that lactose is synthesized in lactating mammary glands from galactose now how is actually lactose synthesized from these lactate uh, from these uh, galactose is udp glucose udp glucose in the presence of the enzyme epimerase it is converted to udp galactose so we have seen that galactose is the fourth epimer of glucose epimers so it is the fourth epimer epimers meaning uh, they are isomers having same molecular formula but they differ in the structural configuration so at the fourth carbon glucose and galactose are different so when they are rearranged with the help of the enzyme epimerase glucose is converted to galactose and in the next step this udp galactose it combines with one more molecule of glucose to form lactose and this occurs in the presence of the enzyme lactose synthase so because lactose is a constituent which is formed by the combination of glucose plus uh, galactose so this is what happens in this reaction udp galactose it combines with glucose in the presence of the enzyme lactose synthase to form lactose so that is how lactose is synthesized from galactose in lactating mammary glands now how is actually galactose metabolized in the body so whatever galactose that we take through milk or through all the milk products uh, actually the through the milk products uh, lactose is taken and this lactose is uh, degraded to glucose and galactose glucose anyhow is metabolized through glycolysis and different pathways and how actually is this galactose metabolized in the body that is what is seen in this slide so galactose the first reaction in the metabolism of galactose is with the help of the enzyme galactokinase so the first uh, enzyme is galactokinase this galactokinase will phosphorylate the galactose that is it will add a phosphate group to this galactose and it forms galactose 1 phosphate galactokinase so kinase is an enzyme uh, which help in uh, adding phospho phosphate groups and uh, galactose uh, to this galactose one phosphate group is added and ATP acts as a phosphate donor and uh, it is converted to galactose 1 phosphate so 
that is the first reaction okay in the second reaction this galactose 1 phosphate uridyl transferase it is the enzyme as the enzyme tells us uh, it it transfers the uridine group uridyl transferase that is uridine uridine group is transferred with the help of this enzyme and this is the rate limiting enzyme now what is the meaning of rate limiting enzyme rate limiting enzymes are the enzymes which control the rate of the reaction and uh, that they control the rate of the reaction they are the enzymes which look after the metabolic pathway so that it is not um, overly it doesn't occur overly or it doesn't occur in a lesser manner so if these are the enzymes which actually control the rate of the reaction so this is the particular enzyme which uh, is the rate limiting enzyme in galactose metabolism and this udp galactose is formed in this reaction so galactose 1 phosphate in the presence of the enzyme galactose 1 phosphate uridyl transferase um, is converted to udp galactose so udp group from udp glucose is transferred to galactose and phosphate group uh, uh, in the position 1 is transferred to udp glucose so you will see the formation of glucose 1 phosphate and simultaneously we also see the formation of udp galactose now this uh, udp galactose can be used for the synthesis of compounds containing galactose such as lactose so from here we can see that udp galactose will combine with glucose in the previous slide we have seen that lactose is synthesized from galactose so this is how from where the udp galactose comes from now udp galactose from here will combine with glucose glucose and it will form lactose here now this is the second step which is catalyzed by the enzyme galactose 1 phosphate uridyl transferase so uridine group that is udp group is transferred from udp glucose to galactose to form udp galactose whereas the phosphate group from galactose is transferred to glucose to form glucose 1 phosphate so that is the second step now in the third reaction once this udp galactose is formed this udp galactose simply by an epimerase reaction will be converted into udp glucose so we all know that galactose is the fourth epimer of glucose so both of them have same uh, structural formula but uh, same functional formula but uh, uh, molecular arrangement will be different so the rearrangement of the molecules with the help of the enzyme udp gal epimerase or uridine diphosphate galactose epimerase gal lactose is converted to glucose now this particular reaction is a freely reversible reaction so even if we are completely avoiding galactose through diets that is if we are not taking a lactose uh, or if we are not taking any milk products uh, if you are not taking any milk products and there is no galactose in the diet galactose can be is essentially required for synthesis of many compounds like we have seen in the previous slides it is required for gag synthesis for glycoprotein synthesis for cerebroside synthesis for all those uh, mucopolysaccharides synthesis galactose is required so even if galactose is not supplied through diet because of this particular reaction uh, this reversible epimerase reaction the udp glucose can be converted into udp galactose so that is the third step in the metabolism of galactose now this is the uh, one pathway one uh, pathway where the galactose is converted into galactose 1 phosphate it is converted into udp galactose and this galactose can be utilized for various uh, product synthesis and it can be epimerized to udp glucose as well which can again enter other metabolic pathways now there is an alternate pathway uh, where through which the galactose 1 phosphate is converted to udp galactose with the help of another special enzyme called as galactose 1 phosphate pyrophosphorylase galactose 1 phosphate pyrophosphorylase now this particular enzyme pyrophosphorylase it will remove the phosphate group from this galactose and also from the utp in the form of inorganic phosphates and once after the removal of utp that is uridine triphosphate once one phosphate group is removed it will form udp that is uridine diphosphate and from this galactose phosphate group is removed in the form of inorganic phosphate there will be galactose left so this galactose will combine with uridine diphosphate to form udp galactose so this is the how another al 
alternate pathway will operate in the body with the help of an enzyme called as galactose 1 phosphate pyrophosphorylase but there is a special uh, this special enzyme it will become active in liver only after 4 to 5 years so this becomes active in liver only after 4 to 5 years till then till then this is the prime primary source of metabolism of galactose uh, pathway this is the primary source of metabolism so if at all there is defect in this particular enzyme uh, galactose 1 phosphate uridine transferase or if there is any lactose intolerance to the child till 5 years the milk is avoided but after 5 years because this particular enzyme becomes active milk products give can be given to the children because uh, of the alternate pathway uh, be becoming active so this is one uh, special thing that needs to be remember remembered in galactose metabolism that is there are two pathways one pathway is active till from birth whereas the second pathway becomes active only after four to five years uh, because of the enzyme now that is how the galactose is metabolized in our body thank you